Hey everyone, you've seen oyster reef aquariums in both uh, the Glenico Park Aquarium website, tank tested um, YouTube channel, and also uh, the Glenico Park Aquarium YouTube channel. Uh, this is Nick Kinzer, the aquarist at the Glenico Park Aquarium, and he's building an oyster reef from scratch. And all you do is you match up the oysters, the right and left to ha halves, find ones that fit together, and then he's gluing them together using great stuff. And he's going to explain how he does it. So this is the uh, the black bond and and stone. And what you want to do is put a lot in the hinge here and then kind of go around this ridge, but not go all the way to the edge. And then you'll put the other half on top of that and rubber band it together. So the time consuming part of building an oyster reef is finding oyster shells and matching them up. You have to go one by one to find the right match. You're going to have probably about 30 to 50 percent of non-matched shells that you can use for other things. Sometimes you can glue them together similar halves um, that are almost matches. So, Separate them with a popsicle stick and you can create open ones that get So as you can see here on my tables, these are all non-matching shells and I'll save all these and glue them together like Kevin mentioned and uh, those will be like my base layer and then I'll put the prettier ones on top and that way you won't, you won't notice that they aren't all perfectly matching. Um, another time consuming part is these are the ones I have finished. These are glued together ready to go. These are matched and rubber banded together and still need to be washed. So, Kevin's not mentioning that <laughs> you have to wash all the old like grit and junk out of them. Then I, I've got them drying on the table here. And then once they're dry, I glue them together, then rubber band them again, let them cure about, it takes about 10 to 20 minutes. And then I can, I can take the band off and put them in the finish bucket and then overnight the stuff will finish curing all the way. And then of course, when all that's done and everything's ready, you can glue each individual oyster into a reef. Um, you can kind of fit them together like a jigsaw puzzle, try to make it as realistic looking as possible to match what a real reef looks like. Yeah, and that doesn't take any time at all, does it? <laughs> it takes plenty of time. I was using Gorilla Glue, which takes about two hours to cure for each gluing. So imagine I, how long that I takes. I used Gorilla Glue on my last one, and what happened was over time the Gorilla Glue got brittle, and then they fell apart. And so I went back to using great stuff, uh, which was what I used the very first time I tried this. Uh, and, and it works great. I just uh, I had to get my technique down to not have it squeeze out all over the place and have to you know spend a ton of time scraping it all off. Yeah, this technique he's doing now uh, limits the amount of great stuff that spreads out of the shell, so it results in very little trimming. Yeah, you don't you don't see any squeezing out anywhere except for right there on the hinge where I I don't mind there being extra there because when I glue these all together, they're going to be like this. So for those of you that don't know, um, we're going to show you on the next shell that he glues. There's actually a right and a, a top and a bottom half. The bottom half is actually the rounded one, and the flat one is actually the top half in the wild. Um, so the you'll see the muscle attachments there. That's another way you can match them up. They're roughly on the same shell in about the same place. So when you're going through matching shells up, those are two things to look at, the shape and the position of that muscle attachment. Also, when you're gluing, this whole middle is like where the body of the animal would be, so the, the shells don't connect there. They only connect just a little bit right around the edge. So that's why I do it kind of in a ring around, and then when I push this down, it squishes them together. That's awesome. The most glue goes down at that base attachment. That was pretty messy on that one. 
Yeah, I was messy. I squeezed the seat. Got some that's losing out a little bit. So when that pub, it, when that expands and dries, he can just trim that off and, and pull pieces apart, pull it apart. Not the shell, just the excess foam or cut it off. All right, here's a quick look of the aquarium. Just a couple of the tanks. If you're in the Glen Echo Park, Maryland area, near Washington, D.C., you can stop in and see these tanks. Oh yeah, this we're here late at night, so only a few tanks have the lights on right now. But I'm going to walk over and show you the finished product of what the Oyster Reef Aquarium looks like. Um, you can see this on other, the tank tested site has a really good explanation. There's a feather blenny, my favorite fish that you've seen in my tanks. Um, lots of sheep's head minnows. Those are really cool. Um, there are a few blennies in here. There's a female, a couple females and some males. Um, there are some naked gobies in here. But you can see that this reef structure looks really cool. There's another large male blenny. Um, they all, there's a female coming up right in front. The males have color. The females kind of look camouflaged. There's another big female right in front. But um, pretty cool. You can build an oyster reef, create a different type of reef aquarium. Here's another one. Um, but oysters are used quite a bit, and uh, this is a great way to... Um, he's got these oysters in a lot of these Chesapeake Bay exhibits. There's a big old toadfish, and this guy's name is Derp. He's a spotted burfish. Striped burfish, sorry. And he's really cool. He's being kind of a, a weirdo right now. But, okay. Come visit the Glen Echo Park Aquarium. Check out these beautiful oyster reefs and other tanks. Here's a nice touch tank. We're gonna finish up with a quick shot of it. Lots of live critters, live oysters. I'm gonna follow us on Instagram. Follow Glen Echo Park Aquarium on their Instagram account also. Lots of fun.